Hey guys and welcome back to Slice's Corner. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I clean my makeup brushes and my so, so dirty beauty blender. So I use the Clean and Clear Daily um, Pore Cleanser to clean my makeup brushes and my beauty blender because it's not harsh on my skin or my brushes. And because I have sensitive skin, I don't feel comfortable using, you know, brush cleansers because we don't know what's in those things. Those have a lot of chemicals. So first, I wet my makeup brushes with warm water, obviously, and I put a little bit of that cleanser onto my brush. Then I'm going to be using this wide tooth comb that you guys see in the sink, and I just brush my brush onto that comb. And it's that simple. It comes off so easy. I love this technique. I think I saw it on like one of those Instagram videos or Facebook videos. One of those. This works amazingly. Not only does it clean the brush, but it also brushes the hairs to make it more like soft, I guess you can say. I don't know. But yeah, this works great. And then I just rinse off the brush because it's on a like, you know, makeup y. And then I rinse off a little bit of the brush and I run it underneath there. And I just keep going back and forth. Maybe sometimes I'll add a little bit more soap if I feel necessary. But here I didn't do that. So. So once my brush is completely clean, I will take two fingers and just wipe the brush between my two fingers. I love this technique because I'm not being too harsh on the brushes. Before I would pull on it and it would be way too hard and it just pulled some of the hairs out and we don't want that. And now for my favorite part which is cleaning the beauty blender. So I start off by running it underneath the water for quite some time. I want to make sure that my beauty blender is completely wet throughout and I want to make sure that it's nice and warm and just very moist. But once I think that my beauty blender is wet enough, I add the same facial soap and I just massage it with my hands. I'll use my fingertips, maybe massage it between my pointer finger and my thumb. And I'm focusing on the areas that I use the most, which is really not that part which you guys just saw. That part is for foundation. I don't really wear foundation often. I just haven't cleaned this thing in forever. Um, but I use the side where the concealer is, like you know, the pointy part. So I will focus the soap on that side and the pointy side. And before I finish this video, I want to shout out my own social media links. They are all linked down below and they're on my end screen. So you guys will see it two times and you just saw it. So, you know, add me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. You won't be let down. So as you guys saw, I added a little bit more soap and this is pretty much all I do. So I add soap, massage, rinse out, soap, massage, rinse out. And I do this until it's all clean. I make sure that I squeeze it in my hand like I'm doing here and I want to make sure that once that water stops being all like nasty and makeup-y, that's when I know that it's clean. But when that starts happening, I still clean it because even though there's no makeup coming out of it, I want to make sure it's 100% clean. So again, here this is my third time adding soap. And I just keep doing this until it's clean. So the Beauty Blender is what takes up all the soap, really. You don't need a lot for your makeup brushes, unless it's like your foundation brush. There we have it, a clean, beautiful beauty blender. I know you guys see dark spots, but that's because my foundation and my concealer are a darker shade. 
Um, so obviously it's gonna start to stain because this beauty blender is kind of a little bit old, but it is so clean. I can rub it on a white piece of paper and it's gonna be completely clean. So thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Bye guys. Thank you.